So, all changed now for you now Graham's gone. Yeah, oh, good luck to them both. It's very big of you. Hmm. Anything else? What else are you offering? Crisps, nuts, scratchings. And is there anything else on the menu? <laughs> if you want to ask her out, ask her out. All this innuendo, you sound like Austin Powers. <laughs> well, you were the lady. Right, uh, do you fancy going out somewhere later? I finish at six. Meet at the bistro. <laughs> Sorry. Couldn't resist. Oh, no worries. We're seeing his face. <laughs> do you want anything? Actually, I'm looking for a Steve McDonald. Oh, that'd be me. Oh, Stella. Stella Price. Huh. Lovely little place you've got here. Yeah, well, we like it, don't we? It's all right. <laughs> Shall we sit down? Yeah. Can I get you anything? Oh, uh, just a cup of tea if it's no trouble. Two teas, please, Tina, and some biscuits. Or a cake if we have any. Is this downtown Abbey? <laughs> She's got a great sense of humor. <laughs> uh, I'll watch the bar if you won't mind. Surprising how big this place is. Uh, yeah, a bit too big sometimes. It's just me rattling about up there now. Oh, used to it being a bit busier then. Well, my mum was here for years, and there was my wife and daughter. Sorry, it's supposed to be an interview. There's me banging on about myself. So, you're keeping the staff in the dark about finding a new manager, then? Well, only until I find a suitable candidate. Look, it's not really my place, but I like to treat my staff like a team. None of this need-to-know rubbish. If it affects the pub, it affects them. Just so as we're straight. We are. So, I met Madam out there. Tina, was it? Good-looking lass. Bet she brings the fellas in. Uh, yeah, she's just had her heart broken. She's not usually that moody. Mm. She certainly won't be if she wants to keep working for me. Trust me on that. Mm. So, what about the rest of the staff? Uh, well, there's Sean. Uh, he works evenings and some weekends. Part-timers. Not a fan of them. It's all or nothing with me. No, Sean is good as gold. He, uh, he works at the factory during the week and he brings in some of the girls from over there, so... Just as long as the girls over there buy their own drinks. Next. Well, there's Betty. Proper leg end. Well, the hot pot is anyway. You know, <laughs> she does the food. Yeah, she's been here over 40 years. Blimey! How old is she? 91. Oh, is that even legal? She must be older than building. <laughs> But listen, uh, 91 or not, Betty is non-negotiable. Fair enough. I like a bit of loyalty. <laughs> well, um, I tell you what, another 200 a month on what you're offering and you might have yourself a deal. Happy that you drive a hard bargain. I'm worth it. So, what bedroom will I be having? Oh, sorry, it's not a living job. <laughs> well, I'm afraid it'll have to be. I made that quite clear to the agency. Why do you think I asked to see the accommodation? I just thought you were being nosy. It's living or nothing for me. Only way I can run things properly. Sorry, Steve, it was nice meeting no, you. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Like I said, there's only me up there, so I'm sure there's probably loads of room. Right. Mm. Right, welcome aboard. Hey, hold your horses. Can't make a definite right now. We need to sort a few things first. I thought you just said... It's all right. I'll let you know in time for closing. OK, I guess. Well, nice meeting you, Steve. You too, Stella. You certainly know how to make a first impression. <laughs> See you. Bye.